What's going on you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here and welcome to Five Nights of Warriors Deluxe where this is the remastered version of Five Nights of Warriors 1 and this game just got released and I figured why not play it and um, this game is made by WWW Wario, Jeb Yoshi and number one Jenny. And of course, WWW Wario, he is the creator of the Five Nights of Wario series, as well as five shows of Wario's. And then Jeb Yoshi is the creator of Five Nights at Yoshi's. And then number one, Jenny, um, is the composer for the piano theme for the main, for, for the main menu th for Five Nights of Wario's Cabin Fever, which, fun fact, I learned how to play it on the piano. It's a really good theme. So, yeah. And, so, yeah. And judging by this, the, the way the menu looks, brings back memories from when I played Final Fantasy Warriors 1. And I figured I'd play this game because I played both the original as well as the version 2.0 of Final Fantasy Warriors 1. In fact, I played, like, er I played a bunch of Final Fantasy Warriors games. So, brings back the memories. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game and let's see what's offered for us. And I do apologize if I have this, this cam, my camera zoomed out because for some weird reason, I tried pressing F4 and F11 to get the full screen and I just cannot do it. I don't know why. But I do apologize for that. Okay, so do we get a cutscene? Okay. So the cutscene's the same as the first game. Okay. There once was a man named Wario who worked along with a friend of his at Wario's fast food factory. Which is Waluigi, of course. One day, however, the two men went missing and they were never found. Since that day, the factory has been closed due to people thinking it, the factory was cursed. Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory and start the production again. One man has gotten the job dur as a guard during the night. Alright, now here we go, night one. Do we get a phone call? Yes, we do, alright. So the office is pretty similar to the first game, judging by how it looks. Alright, so I'm playing as Richard McCroy, the night guard, just like in the first game. And I'm checking out the cameras. The cameras look very similar to the original. Cam 7, though, has been changed. That's one different on this camera. So, yeah, but the other cameras are the same. Doors and the windows are also the same, and the phone guy is the same, of course. Different in the night guard. The difference is, um, the difference is, is that um, there's actually lines. The lines are shown from the phone guy on the screen. So I'll show it right here on my camera because it's not showing it. Just open up the pad 
you've been given and have a look around. Just make sure everything looks okay, pretty much. You only have so much power at your disposal at night, however. Try not to use all of it. Having that camera pad open drains some of that power, but even worse is the door to your left and the control room window to your right. As you have probably seen, we have installed some buttons you can use for each one of them. The red buttons will bring down strong metallic doors, and the white buttons will trigger lights in their respective doorways. Keeping these doors down drain quite a lot of power, as do having the door lights active. Please, only use these when you need to. When would you need to, you might wonder. Well, there have been rumors going around for years that this recipe that Wario was using, that, and that we are using now, was quite interesting to money-hungry thieves back in the day when the factory was up and running. So the doors, the lights, it's just for safety, really. Mandatory precautions, that's all. No worries. Just keep an eye on the camera pad, yeah. Otherwise, you should be good, I think, yeah. We are very excited for this new era of the Warriors brand. So, have a good night, Richard, and I'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay, so I assume we're dealing with Wario and Waluigi. I assume we are. Because I know in the original game, for night one, we we would we were dealing with Wario and Waluigi. Wait, did I see something? I'm checking. Okay, I think I see something. I thought I saw Wario or Waluigi. I'm checking. Oh, there they are. There's Wario and Waluigi. They have entered the building. Okay, so here we go. Waluigi just moved. I just saw. There's Wario. And I assume they're both going to come to the door like in the original. Because I know in the original they both came to the door. Oh, there's Wario, man. He's something you trigger on the bathroom camera. <laughs> also known as Bruno Gates. Which Wario Man is Bruno Gate, but in a Wario Man costume. Okay. There's apparently background music in this version. That's. Which is really interesting. Up oh, there's Waluigi. Okay, so Waluigi is apparently coming to the window in the deluxe version, which is interesting because in, in the original game, Waluigi came to the door just like Wario did, and then Luigi and Peach came to the window. So that's pretty interesting. So that's new for the game. Up oh, there's Waluigi. He's at the window. Okay. Oh, Wallowee just stole the window. Got to keep it closed. Okay. I'll check for Wario, though. It's interesting how Wallowee comes to the window in this version. Interesting. Okay, good. Wallowee left. I will check for Wario. Nope, he's not there, so that's good. Okay, so apparently with night one, we have to close the window, too. 
Because at night one in Final Warriors 1, we only had to close the door because Wario and Waluigi come to the door. But in this game, Waluigi comes to the window. And I assume Wario is going to be coming to the door. Up oh, here's Wario. Okay, so I was right. Wario is going to be coming to the door. Just like the original. And then also in the original, Luigi and Peach came to the window. And then Mario came through that computer. Okay, Wario's here. Gotta close the door. Alright. Did he leave? I'm gonna check. Yep, Wario left. Okay, good. He left, so that's good. And I've wasted half my power, but we should hopefully be fine. Okay, there's Waluigi. Okay, so we should be fine, though. We should be able to be a night one. Just hope I don't waste all my power, because I just wasted half my power. Apparently the power drains like f faster in this version, a little bit faster in this version than in the original. Okay, hopefully I can beat it though. Okay, Waluigi left good, check for Wario. And I should hopefully be able to beat it, because I don't know why, but the power drains a little bit faster in this ver in the deluxe version than in the original. It's really interesting. <laughs> And I am almost out of power. Hopefully gonna beat this night. That'd be great. See, look at that. And I just ran out of power. Only on night one, which is crazy. <laughs> Hopefully I can beat it, though. There we go. I ch oh, I got, oh, I got an achievement. Nice. Okay, I got an achievement for running out of power. Nice. Okay, so... I wasn't expecting that for night one, because appar but apparently the power drains faster in this... in this version than in the original. I don't know why. Continue back to menu. Alright, we'll continue. Because we'll continue and we'll take on night two in this video as well. So let's continue. And I assume we're going to be dealing with Luigi. Maybe Peach. I don't know. Because I know Luigi. Because I know in the original game. We had, we had to deal with Luigi, Luigi and Peach for night two. Alright. So we get a phone call. That's what I, that's what I saw. Waluigi is warrior side. But Waluigi is said to have been good with words. Charming, convincing, clever, but also insecure. Living in his friend's shadow, putting Wario in front of himself. You know, a people pleaser. That's how people described him. But also a people knower. Apparently he knew how to convince people, getting them to agree with him. That's probably why Wario chose him to be his business partner. The two of them made a good team, apparently. They started a cafe. That was the first thing, back in the 80s, you see, the late 80s. 
Wario's Cafe. He was their first yes, uh, Wario's Cafe is familiar. I, I remember that name. Found its footing and grew popular. They closed it off fairly quickly for unknown reasons, actually. And the two men began in the video game industry instead a few years later, in 1990, I think it was. WarioWare Incorporated. You might have oh, yes, I've heard of WarioWare Incorporated. And the ideas and products from there were impressive, to say the least. However, people called the place haunted. Rumors has it that even Wario himself claimed the building felt off. And WarioWare actually partly burned down a few years later, unfortunately. It must have been an electrical fire, I guess. But that's when they were able to found their third establishment, which was this very fast food factory. I think it was a lifelong dream of Wario to build this factory, and finally it was up. And things were going well until, you know, I told you the owner died. But that's not quite the entire story. He, Waluigi, along with three of their co-workers, completely disappeared one day. Gone. Nobody found them, heard from them. Nothing. People had claimed to get strange vibes from the factory since day one, and the disappearance of these five didn't exactly lighten those rumors up. Some have even used the word cursed when describing this place. So what happened to them exactly? We we don't know for sure. But I've talked long enough for tonight, Richard. I'm sorry. I just thought I would let you in more on the details of the past of your workplace, you know? I'll, I'll let you get back to work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow night, yeah? Alright, so I assume we're dealing with Luigi, and maybe Peach. I could be wrong, though, because in the original game, we dealt with Luigi and Peach on night two, and they came to the window. So, yeah. Okay, so I gotta conserve this power, because... It drains pretty quickly. I mean, quicker than the original. Alright, so we're dealing with Luigi, as I predicted. And I assume he's going to come to the window. I assume he will. I mean, unless that changed. I could be wrong, because... Because the only mechanic, the only one who has the same mechanic right now is um, Wario, where he comes to the door. While Luigi's changed, he goes to the window. He might go to the door too, I'm not sure. Who knows though. <laughs> Okay, we got Waluigi coming. There he is. There's Waluigi. Okay, did he leave? Let me check. Nope, he's still there. Okay. And I'll check for Wario at the door right now. Okay, I hear footsteps. Does that mean Waluigi left? Okay, he left. I think that's what it means, the footsteps. Okay. Oh god, Luigi's floating. Why is Luigi levitating in the air? Okay, so Luigi's apparently going to come to the door and not the window. Okay. Oh, and there's Wario too. Okay. Oh, Luigi. There you go. And Wario's going to be coming next, so... Might as well keep the door closed. Okay, Luigi left. Wario's gonna be coming, so I gotta off the closed door again, obviously. 
And I'll check for Waluigi at the window. Okay, he's not there. So that's good. And I've already wasted half my power and it's only 3 a.m. God, this power drain is so fast. Okay, Wario left, so we're good. Apparently they move fast. Something I've noticed with night one as well as night two, they move faster on the first two nights than in the original. Because in the original game they start off slow, but in this game they move faster. Too fast if you ask me because I'm already wasting half my power. Okay, Wario and Waluigi are about to come, so I gotta get ready to deal with them. I'm probably gonna be screwed though, because of Wario. And they're both there, and which is draining my power even faster because I have both the door and the window closed. Wario's still there. Um, Waluigi left. Good. Let me check to see if Wario left. There you go. Okay, so they both left. Good. So at least I didn't have to keep them both closed for long. Thank God, because otherwise I would have been screwed and I would have lost power. I'm going to check for Luigi. Okay, this time Luigi's going to the window. Okay, so apparently Luigi's going to be going to both the door and the window in this game. And I'm almost out of power. There's Luigi. Okay. And I'm already almost out of power, and I'm screwed. Once if I can beat this night by some miracle, like when night one. Night one, I ran out of power, and I still be, made it 6 a.m. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it for this night. I'm probably going to be killed by Luigi anyway, so. Am I going to get the Wario jingle? Okay, I got the Wario jingle. Which is the jingle played when you run out of power. Or am I going to get killed by Luigi? It's either going to be Wario or Luigi that kills me because I have the window closed for Luigi. Okay, I'm probably dead no matter what. Because my god. <laughs> the power drain is so much faster. Than this. Yep, I'm dead. God, the power drain is so much faster in this game. Okay, and apparently... I got killed by getting crushed to death by the door. Okay. Very disturbing. And graphic, too. Alright, well, at least we get to retry, though. We have, we have the retry button, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to meet the phone call because I already heard it. Alright. So the only new character we're dealing with, I just realized, is Luigi. We're not dealing with Peach for night two. Interesting. Because in the original, we deal with the both of them.
Okay, we got Luigi coming to the window. We got unsettling voice effects. Apparently the background music's making it really stressful. Wasn't like this in the original. Okay, your footsteps. I think Luigi's coming. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, that's Waluigi. Okay. So we got both Luigi and Waluigi coming in the window. I'll check the door for Wario. Okay, Luigi's here, so I gotta keep the window closed. But while Luigi left, though, Wario I do not see yet. I'm checking the door, though. So at least we're good. Luigi stole the window. Okay. I had the door opening. Okay, Luigi left, so that's good. Okay, Wario's coming. So I gotta close the door. God, you guys are moving fast for nights one and two. It's just crazy. Not to mention the power drains really quickly in this game. In fact, it's only 3 a.m. and I wasted half my power. Which It's just so hard to conserve power in this game. Oh, there's Wario. Wario left, so that's good. I'm gonna go check the camera for Waluigi. Okay, he's coming. Don't see Luigi, but I see Waluigi, though. Wario left, so that's good. Oh, there's Waluigi. Hopefully gonna beat this night, because, God, it's, it's a little bit tricky, because the power goes down faster, and they move, and Wario and the gang moves faster than the original for Nights 1 and 2. Up, oh, Luigi. Okay, so Luigi comes to both the door and the window. Wario comes to the door while Luigi comes to the window. Okay, so definitely notice a change in the mechanics. Luigi left, so that's good. And I'm, all, and I'm low on power. Hopefully gonna beat this night though, because that's what I'm I'm already getting really worried. God, it's only 4 a.m. God, why does night two have to be so tricky? Mario. Okay. And I'm already dead anyways because I'm almost out of power. Yep, I just ran out. Guys, this is the third time in this video that I ran out of power. Like, it just drains so much faster than the original game. I don't get why. Okay, so night two is going to be a little bit tricky to conserve power. Night one I beat by fluke. Night two, though, I'm not really getting lucky. So, I don't know. If I die again, then I'll just do night two for another video. We'll do a part two, if necessary, unless I get lucky and beat this night, which chances are slim, though. Yeah, there's the jingle, and I'm probably going to get killed here. Okay, so I'm going to need a really good strategy for night two, okay? Okay, so for night two, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to focus on checking the doors and the window. Because apparently for, like in the original, you don't really need to check the cameras much, so that's a good thing. Because there's really no mechanics on there. 
I need to just use it to track everyone's movement. So we'll just focus on the door and the window. Because I don't really need to check the camera for night two, like on night one. Because you don't really need to check it much in this game. Right, so I'll give it one more try. Hopefully I can beat it this time. Apparently, if you press escape, it, it brings you back to the menu. It's quitting. I don't know why I just jumped into night two, but I decided I changed my mind. I'm, I'm just going to take it on for another video. So, we will continue on night two and part two of Let's Play because it is clearly tricky to conserve power. But I do have a strategy, though. We're going to focus on the door and the window and not check the camera for the next four when I do, do take on night two again. But yeah, so anyways, I'll end my video here. We'll finish up night two and part two of the Let's Play. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And go follow me on TikTok and hit the bell to receive notifications on there as well for upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.